Hello everybody and welcome back to the part 2 of the R&D uh, curve in uh, video streaming. We want to stream live from a camera using H264 MP2 multiplexing to a web page. Currently in the first video I were able to build a graph using the integrated camera, helicopter, the ABC encoder, a multiplexer, and my, this is my uh, filter that I am uh, sending the TCP. This is a client that wants to send the TCP to the server. So this is the server on the same computer. By the way, I test it on the local area network. is working the same. One thing that I forgot to mention in the previous uh, video is that in order to, to have a live uh, uh, with the um, MP2 multiplexing, we to change its latency value for time adjustment uh, to zero. It was 1.5 seconds, so this is very important. <coughs> we need to uh, start the client. <coughs> and then we have a filter here. We add a LA card AVC encoder. Don't forget to change in the registry to make it uh, low latency. I showed it first video. Now I can play, take it a little bit time, but once it started, it will uh, do a live stream. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. So this is working. Very important. What I, for I forgot to mention is this one. So um, this video, I want to show you the, the sources. This is my uh, public GitLab. Uh, uh, this is the video streaming. I have the Autech Network Center. I have the TCP server push. Those are not in use currently. And this is the shape of a filter. If somebody wants to draw an <coughs> overlay like a rectangle uh, lines, uh, this is the transform filter. But we are focusing now on the TCP server push. And uh, this is the uh, client. This is a client. This is a server. By the way, this one works also with uh, video elementary. So with, with video elementary, we don't need the multiplexer on one side and the multiplexer on the other side, and it works the same. Um, but we want to use the uh, uh, multiplexer part because we want transfer stream maybe with audio. We want to it um, as a standard MP2. So what I'm doing, I'm using a uh, Visual Studio. This is the sender. This is the address. Currently, is a local host. But if I want to, for example, here, it's not ready for production. Of course, it's only something that we need to uh, maybe the property page, maybe add an interface to change the address. And of course, adding interface to the filter is much much better. And interface will be uh, here in the non-delegating so we can add our own interface here <coughs> and create uh, create an interface the logic the receive is the important uh, one we are not using the thread this I try to do something like with the threading we don't use the thread what we do is the, is the following we receive a packet and Immediately using the P data from the sample pointer and reading and we sending the, <coughs> the P data to the, um, the server. So we have a UDP option and we have a TCP option. Currently everything is uploaded, but once you uh, do it, you can understand what to do. By the way, this filter is based on the dump filter. So I took the dump. Dump filter, change it a little bit. You see, there is a dump input. I didn't even change it, so it's working. Uh, the server, uh, th this is a TCP server. Uh, <clears throat> you, what, what we are doing here in the server is that when we do, we are not running. We are uh, uh, still receiving a frame for the demultiplexer, okay, because it wants data 
to understand uh, what is the stream. So even though we're not running, we are still sending in data. Uh, once we are running, we want to run faster. This sleep is very important because otherwise uh, the graph edit will, uh, will stack. So again, this is uh, part two of the video streaming. The next thing I want to do is to show you how the HLS sync is working. This is will not be a live streaming, but I will still show you how the HLS uh, is working. And maybe I will manage to get it working with a, uh, a lower latency, with some ideas that I have. But uh, see you in the uh, next part. Bye-bye.